Even I can't be sure. If I were him, I'd be running for Tanis. And he can still run there. We'll try and get the fastest way to... Uh... No, he's not. He's going to run this way. Okay. I didn't even consider that he'd want to go that way. But he did, and that's all that matters. We'll run him down. Because all of these places that doesn't have any defensive bonuses for him. Not that we're really regenerating quickly because we've only got two maneuver, but hopefully our superior everything means we can run him down. Unfortunately, it looks like he gets to retreat before uh, the turn of the month, so he'll get all of his morale and such back. Let's just press the advance. And you know I'm low enough on morale that I should be doing my little trick where we curve around and we don't take the attrition for entering the province. Come on, destroy him. What am I paying you guys for? Not to fight well, that's for sure. Hey Jake, don't have school today and excited I can watch you play Battle Pope. Well, I'm going to be around for another few hours, so if this is what you want to see, then you're in luck. I don't know why, but each to their own. Right, so we're having a bit of difficulty wiping these guys. Like, oh, I should not have engaged there. I'm not going to get the tip of the month morale on them myself. Gee, he's running me ragged here. We might be winning these battles, but the losses we're taking to our men are pretty high, so I will reinforce, which is not something I often do in this situation. Because the trouble is these battles are ending before the turn of the month. He runs away, he gets his men and morale back. Well, at least not his men, because he's uh, retreating. Alright, I got a bit of a plan. He seems to want to retreat to Jerba. So, I'll fight him, I will beat him in morale if nothing else. And he'll. Nope! Good, that should be a wipe. Unless he runs further than just that one province. It's gonna take a while to get these men back. wasn't even anybody to fight, man. So I'll throw these troops onto Jeroba just in case that's where he runs to, and then I will have a bit of a defender's bonus. No, please wipe him. Ah, oh, finally. Whew, that was a little painful. But our troops are still there. They'll reinforce fairly slowly, but... Well, needs must. I'll keep them there until they uh, do reinforce. So I want to keep them there with the uh, Maneuver General. He may recruit more units, but I'll see it coming. Plus I can loot this land. Not that it's worth that much, but every little does help. Of problems there for Granada, but why will Naples not help? What I should probably do is tell them to help out. Naples, Galicia, it is time. Wait, where is Naples? Oh, uh, that's a bit of a problem. But they're only peasants. I mean, come on, man. Grow a backbone. He's not even core in Cornwall, or if he did, he retracted it. And he was never coring Meath, so he has nothing to worry about. i got to deal with my own problems before I deal with yours. 
want to save our dip points because it will be very expensive taking the land that I'm about to take here. 11th of January and 25th. Oh, 29th. I'm just blind. Ah, that's where Naples is. I am, again, being completely blind. Well, thanks a bunch, Naples. Keeping Morocco on the hind foot. A bunch of our troops back, but far from all of them. Still, I think it should be enough by now. Stacks of three. Siena, Languedoc. And, oh, that's right. I had claims on France for when I, if I needed to go to war with them. That's okay. That battle was of statistical irrelevance. That made me sound really bitter. Again, I need to work this out or else I'm going to be wasting a lot of time here. Now, I own 17 provinces. It's going to be 16 when I lose Sardinia. Actually, we should do a count on how many Sunni provinces I can be taking here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I can take tons. I can ditch all this extra useless uh, land later down the line. No problems. Also, I forgot to mention, hello, Hydronium. I made a pun earlier on, not even a pun, just a crappy joke, about both the Australian viewers coming at this time because I'm streaming at such an absurd time. Just glad you could make it. We made Bazette here the uh, target, so I should probably make an effort to take it. Togret on the move. Is he going to fight us? Does he have the Gahones? He does. He does indeed. Only desert. Nah, that's what I thought. It feels like I have so few units. I suppose I've only got uh, 30 out of 35 down here. I'd probably benefit from bringing in a few more. wouldn't it? It's coming along so well. At zero percent. I'm sure I don't sound it, but I'm very excited about the prospect of becoming Sunni. 
in a way that works, unlike the last time. But the less said about the last time, the better. Too late to stop him. Also, shout out to 67 year old God Pope. He's really, uh, really been the backbone of this part of the one. Living in the Middle East is the best place to watch Jake. What, halfway house? I suppose it might be. So Morocco managed to do a turnaround there. Uh, Gibraltar's become mountains. It's still taking a while for me to even process that in my head. I always think that it's just uh, Granada, which is the mountainous province. Jake, why are you so, so excited about becoming Sunni if it makes everything about European expansion harder? Uh, hmm. Don't have an answer for that. I just am, I suppose. It means I can start doing Deus Vault. That in itself is something worth getting excited about, I think. It feels like I have so few troops. So few ways to spend my mill. I should have taken a mill idea, but I need uh, I need everything I've got so far. Okay, so the question is, do I let Morocco off the hook here? Because I do really want Tangiers, and that kind of money would be delicious. All that extra power, plus another Sunni province which I have a claim on to boot. But it means I'd have to fight Morocco. <laughs> which yours is mine? Actually, I could just get access from Tlemcen, once this guy is 100%ed, stroll over and take Tangiers, which is only 13%. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea. We'll deal with him once we've 100%ed this loser over here. Otherwise, we've got a lot of lazy diplomats hanging around here. Let's get very cozy with Galicia and Granada, because once I convert, I'm going to want to have them deep inside me. Peasants are going away, which is lovely. No need to worry about these guys. Although, never underestimate peasants. They can defect. You could see I'm finally converting all uh, coring Lancashire. Now, the English colony. How's it coming along? Extremely successfully. I don't want to fight that soon, but I gotta burn it. Maybe I'll have to give up my dreams of taking uh, Tangiers. Because what I need to do is get all of these troops back up here as soon as I can. I'll encourage some revolts down here. I need to be everywhere at once, don't I? It's such a bother. Still got my claim on marches, so I've got every reason to fight England. Jake, has Granada converted anything? People keep asking this, and they... Like I said before, the lands in Iberia are too high base tax for Granada to convert. Plus, he has increased uh, tolerance of heathens, so he's not even that bothered about it. Oh, also, how is England's navy doing? Oh, 
it's still pathetic, which is great. It means we can get our troops back. But I need to be ready to do that. I mean, that colony will probably finish very soon. And a whole bunch of our... A uh, whole bunch of our sieges aren't even close to being done. There is the thought of, oh, it's just another province. I mean, how much base tax is it? Six. Six base tax. I don't want that at all. What I maybe should do then is everybody that is free basically just leave behind only what we can, uh, only what we need for sieging. Everybody else prepare to embark. Got to deal with England. No point in this stage ever any time. Uh, that's nine. We're going to have seven here. And we have capacity for 16. You'd almost think I planned this. Oh, that colony has got to stop. Trouble is, England have quite the army. I'm going to need both of them for all this. As in, both my armies up there. I suppose I could reinforce Northumberland. I doubt he'd ram-raid both of us. But it's not that... Uh, it's not like Brittany ever have a navy. In fact, what do Brittany have? Three heavies, seven trans, uh, seven trades. Damn you, England! You know what? I might just have to tell Cornwall to get cozy with me. We'll figure out how to destroy England. I'm not all that confident about making a second trip back up here. That colony will probably complete, and Brittany will probably sink my ships. I'll get you down there, then tell you to attach. Hopefully you do. The rest of us deal with this. Hopefully, uh, being at war will make... No, being at war won't make Galicia want to attack that. We've already got our best general in the case. The English best general is garbage. Northumberland one's not too hot either. Yeah, 901. The difficulties I go through just to deal with the English scum. And the other person I can transfer these sieges to are Northumberland, who... Yeah, they're still sitting on a lot of overextension here. How long? How long will it take you? I could hold out. I'll keep an eye on this. But if it gets dangerously close, it becomes a month away. I'll have to make my move. Core it. Core it fast. So I can give you more land. Oh, hey Morocco. Nice to meet you. 
It's all right. Morocco's uh, not going to be a big deal here. I hope. Six, uh, nine, three, three. Oh. Make sure Morocco doesn't attack your ships. I'm not too worried about Morocco. Morocco is uh, paltry. I'll have to get a flavour for how much these lands are going to cost. It's going to cost my dip for certain. You don't have any other allies that I could uh, rip and tear, do you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm at war, so Scotland don't want to ally me. Nobody will want to ally me. Tragic. Alright, we've got another month to hold out. Well, ah, oh, glorious Lancashire's done. is the meeting point. Everyone else finishes up there. As for you, Morocco. Yeah, you don't want any old peace now, do you? It's alright. I deal directly with uh, with you after the five years are up. And everybody's a winner. <sighs> the lengths we go to. Jake, declare now rather than risk England getting an event. Yeah, I've got to get rid of that colony. There we go. And let's just really hope that England decide not to uh, defeat us, silly. Well. Wow, okay. The Battle Pope is only too good at his job. He instantly teleports there, giving the men the morale that they need to scarper. Who knows, that one extra man might make a world of difference. Of course, Battle Pope is not actually going to be doing any fighting here because I don't want him dead. So, yeah, we can rip England to pieces. Rip him even heavier when we get the next Miltech, giving our infantry better shock. And our cavalry better fire, for all the good that is. Cornwall is back, baby. Cannot, we don't have to worry about. Shall we? Fighting in Marsh. With a bit of luck, you'll run away to Wessex. I don't want to fight in Marsh. Gives him a plus one for all rolls. But I suppose... Uh, no, it's not worth it. Oh, and of course, declaring that no CB gave uh, a little bit of aggress expansion, but nothing even worth worrying about. Get all our annexations done later on. Ah, there is the Tarone problem, isn't there? And my lack of uh, decent advisors. Lots of problems, basically. And we're finally at the mill cap, which means we can buy ourselves some better technology and use it to ram raid the English troops, even though we're fighting in Marsh. Even though he's getting back up. And with a bit of luck, that back up will add a river crossing penalty. Glamorgan? Yeah, river crossing to Gloucestershire. No, it didn't give them a river crossing penalty. Oh well. Doesn't matter, we still win. Although the cost to our manpower is telling. All this is coming along well. Oh, right, that English colony has got to go. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Apparently that was uh, your fight. So we could... Let's see. No, hold on. If anybody's going to be doing stack wiping, it should be regular foot troops. Because it's not even a battle. The rest of you folks, where are they going to run to? They're going to run to Oxfordshire, then probably London, because it's high base tax. 
Then again, they'll probably want to go somewhere. F no, London. Perfect. Let there be wipage. Promising. Not so promising. What you gonna do? So, we're gonna get a bit of deja vu all over again, I think. But I can't afford to have him reinforcing from the south here. Plus, I do like the loot. See that? Let's not give them a moment to respite. <sighs> yeah, five heavies, twelve trades. I do not like my chances there. With a bit of luck, you'll come over here and try to drop off some troops. And that's not over here enough. The Straits of Gibraltar, not an inner sea. All right, people have requested this enough times, or one person has been tenacious enough. Welcome to Battle Pope HQ. It'd be real ideal if those Grenada noble rebs popped over and paid the Bretons a visit. Probably wishing for things that aren't going to happen there. Alright, Tyrone eliminated. And now England don't have this land over here to recruit from, which works to our advantage very nicely. Uh, that isn't very nice, though. All this Moroccan reinforcement. You have lost, my friend. Lost. I want to annex Togart, so I still need to wait on these two sieges, which will give me two, four, six, seven provinces. Eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14. I think it's I can't go over the overextension limit now, can I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I've lost count already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that should be enough, right? So just remember that if we draw the line here, that's 20. Who am I even talking to when I say that? Jeez. Ah, Moroccans to the north, English to the everywhere else. What's a man meant to do in this situation? join us there so you head up there and we have the supply limit heck we just need mercs basically I don't want to risk getting rammed here do you think I could ravage those guys with these guys yeah I'll have a I'll have a guy on uh, on hand to help Worst case scenario, we lose all of our transports. That is pretty bad, honestly. Alright, Moroccan scum. They have quite a lot of uh, cavalry, but probably not too much. Given that they are Muslim, they can have more cavalry than that. We can without suffering the consequence. Really, the five years is almost up. There is no good reason for us to engage those units. Morocco does not have military access through England. What I should be doing is laying siege to London. Jake, can you show us Russia? Uh, Muscovy don't have expansion yet. Thank goodness, but they're still a problem. They are still a big...